Hey everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and it is freezing. So it froze a couple nights in a row, and this is the first day I've had off, so I am going to winterize my pond. So there's several things I need to do here. Let me go over those with you. So one of the first things I'm going to have to do is take my netting off, but only for a short time because these leaves are coming down, man. They're coming down like crazy. I have to keep uh, taking the leaves off the netting because I never did build the framework for it. Next year, I've learned. <laughs> okay, the first thing I need to do that's probably unique to my pond is my waterfall is leaking somewhere. So I'm still putting water in it. So once I get it filled for the season, I'm going to turn off the waterfall. So that's the first thing. I'm going to pull out all those plants, cut them back, and I'm going to try to open one of them in my garage. I don't have to remove too much dead debris because it's almost all gone. So when it became fall and started getting chilly, I switched over my poi food to something more wheat based. And then now that it's the water temperature is 55, a little bit less, I've stopped feeding them. So, and it's very hard to see because they've all seemed to have settled towards the bottom, which is good. Which is good. I hope I don't disrupt them too much. But I'm going to pull back the netting and start pulling out stuff. I also have to clean out the filter a little. I've got to clean up some of the plants, cut back the lilies and put them in the deepest part, and then put the netting back on. Let's get started. out of the pond. I'm going to cut back the lilies and put them back into the center most deepest part of the pond and everything else I'm going to overwinter in my garage. Let me get my clippers. Well, wow. let me find my clippers because I took them somewhere. Stay tuned. My toes are frozen. You see. I'm wearing my clogs because I knew my sneakers were going to get wet. So that's all right. So a couple things before I start cutting back my plants, and I'm gonna put these right next to my uh, lily so I don't lose them. Okay. I got my pump out, and as I pulled it out of the skimmer, it ripped. So I just cut off the end wire, and now I'm gonna wash it off and store it in, in so it doesn't get dried out. I gotta store it where it's wet. Okay, so let's cut back the lilies. But I'm going to cut out these lilies, cut it right back. And I want to keep in mind, this is my first time ever doing this. So if you want to know really how to do it and how to do it well, I'm going to put a link up here to Rachel O'Leary's video that she puts together. It's awesome. So I got a question. I got pennywort. I got a lot of pennywort and I have a lot of terrariums. Does pennywort grow in the terrariums? I'm gonna test it out. Because I got a whole lot of them at Home Depot for a dollar each. They were getting ready to throw them out off season because I get a lot of my plants off season. And they were just spectacular. They blended the lines between the water and the land beautifully, beautifully. Somewhere in the water, somewhere off the side of the pond and somewhere on top of the land. It was just gorgeous, I thought. Anyway, I, thought I might be able to find it. So everything else I'm cutting back and gonna try to overwinter. Here we go. Cutting back seems so harsh, but first let me get that lily dropped into the middle part of the pond. Yeah, now the koi aren't the smartest fish in the world, but they certainly have good instincts. So, so even though this stuff looks good right now, I know as soon as it freezes, it's just gonna be de decaying matter and it's gonna hurt my water. So as much as it's killing me to rip out green plants. I know, we've had freezing nights many times already. So, and this is cold. Uh, sunny, but cold. Get some more of the leaves out. Then I'll pull all the plants back, cut them off. And 
winterize them in my shed in my garage. So I gotta admit, last year I tried to winterize doing the best I could and only one plant came back. But in all reality, I'm not gonna say only one plant because I'm thrilled that one plant came back. So I feel bad because I know the fish, I stirred them up and they think they're gonna eat, but it's too darn cold. It's too darn cold. Their metabolism is slowed down. They won't be able to digest the food and they get sick and probably die. And I love my fish. I don't want anything to happen. I'm already a nervous Nelly about leaving them out in the pond all winter. Do you see this? Absolutely beautiful. Australia canna. I'm gonna cut, I'm actually gonna cut off roots coming out of the bottom. Next time I'm gonna actually plant them in something else and cut them back and see what happens. So next year my turtles are gonna be in the pond and they're gonna overwinter. So I'm a little nervous about that. I'm nervous about that already and it's not even next year. So how's that for you? I think when one or two of my kids get home, I'm gonna have them help me take down the bridge because I want to get it painted for next year anyway. My pitcher plant and my carnivorous plant I'm gonna treat a little different I'm saving some creeping Jenny there's a pennywort I'm gonna to try to grow that in my terrarium I got some foxtail I'm gonna to try to grow in a palindarium we'll see how that goes so here is one of the filters I use this just had, it's just a little sponge box with a plastic, sponge box around a plastic thing filled with Hi everybody, I'm exhausted. Let's show you what it looks like. My feet are wet and cold. <laughs> so it just doesn't even quite look like my pond. Take a walk around. I still have the netting on. I scooped out as much leaves as I could that got through before I put the net on. I took out all the plants. I cut back the hardy lilies. Oh, there's so many leaves. I cut back the hardy lilies and set them into the deepest part. I took out all the tropicals. They're like annuals, they don't come back. But I have some hardy that I'm gonna overwinter that I cut off the roots, my battery died, so I, did, I didn't get to show you. It's very quiet because I've turned off the waterfall, so I won't be losing any more water. Oh my goodness. It was, I have to say, a lot of work. 
I'm still saying it's worth it, but it was a lot of work. And my hose for the pump broke. I'll show you that. And I wish I was able to show you all the overwintering I did, but my battery died, so now I've got my work phone. Now, this little pond, which is where I, all these were cut off. I just laid them there, so if they decay, that's just mulch. These are some perennial grasses that should come back. What I was thinking about doing is putting a top over here. It's almost making it like a little greenhouse-like structure. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that would be awesome. And I still have the pump out here so I can put the pump in there. So I guess just some maybe PVC, make a couple arches, put some plastic on top. What do you think? Oh, it's worth a shot. I might try it. Or even putting PVC across this way. Hmm. I'll have to do some research and see if it's worth it. Well, thanks for chilling out with me today. And I mean literally chilling out with me today while I finished winterizing my pond. I think I'm going to crawl into bed and rest some weary bones here. Thanks for watching, guys.